a lot of the companies have their own websites where they write how great they are, how great service they do. Maybe they even have some testimonials, but people don't, don't believe that. Jiře Meselníci is a web service that helps consumers to find builders if they refurbish their homes, etc., that have a good reputation and will do a good job. Because if, you, if you're searching for these companies, there are maybe hundreds of listings, but you get a phone number and that's not enough. If you, you know, pick randomly from a list, the results are terrible. Typically, this is like, you know, playing a Russian roulette. No, nobody is able to provide that, that kind of information. And uh, because we are in a actually uh, two-sided marketplace, because what we do is a marketplace for, for consumers and the builders. So that's the value proposition for the consumers. But we have a very strong proposition for the builders as well. Because if you are on, on our service and you have couple of reviews, like more than five, so that it's really relevant and, and, and reliable information, then you don't compete by price, but you compete by the quality of service. A lot of the companies have their own websites where they write how great they are, how great service they do. Maybe they even have some testimonials, but people don't, don't believe that because this is you, it's just web templates that, that somebody, you know, some copywriter that you paid for has, has written, it's not authentic. Yeah, but it's very different if you see that these reviews are by, by real people with photos from their homes and these people have a couple of other reviews on other providers. That, 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 that makes it real and that's a very different kind of game. And it attracts uh, the type of companies that uh, are proud of, of the work they do. And this is something that, you know, since the communist years has been disappearing and, and the, the general quality is not that great. But we don't need 100% of the market. If we are happy, you know, if we have top 25% of these guys who want to show, you know, I can stand by my work and I'm proud of it. And okay, you won't pay the lowest price on the market, you will pay the, a decent price, but you can rely it will get finished. And if there is any problem, I come back and I fix it. Because that's another key distinguishing point. It's not that the great guys never make a mistake, but if the mistake happens, they come and fix it. The other guys, for the lowest price, they say, oh, but you know, you paid me 100 crowns per hour? You expect I can do something? I'm already in minus, you know, forget it. And that's the problem. They, you know, they, they don't live up, you know, to any uh, promise of fixing anything. It's, it's a freemium on the subscription side. We have two streams of revenue, subscription side and, and, uh, and the fee side which is the fees are paid on the, on the realized uh, business cases or on the realized uh, jobs that, that, that they provide through our, through our website. Yeah. But we also have even jobs that are like construction of the whole house. We can't afford to send them unknown provider because they could totally ruin the reputation if it didn't go well, right? It be, you know, it's in the press, etc. Our reputation would, would fall with, with such a case, so we can't, we can't afford that. It is like uh, around like 800, 800 providers that are in the paid program, which means that we will probably need to have like around 10,000 uh, registered companies in total. Like I think we will, you know, prove that the, uh, the general 7% uh, share of the paid versus non-paid companies is about realistic in our case too. And uh, on, on the uh, job side, on the fee side, because actually the subscription model and the fee, fee model, they are, let's say, relatively on the, on the same level. I'm not saying it's 50-50, but yeah, comparatively same, same amount. Uh, we need to do roughly around like uh, 50, uh, 50 service requests uh, per day. The major cost is people, that, that is very clear. 
and uh, and big expense is then marketing. Yeah, and that's I think num num you know two two key expenses. And on the people side, we currently have two people that are dedicated to the customer service and communication with the consumers and and the companies, which is at the same time also kind of sales. Yeah, we don't kind of distinguish, but when we talk with the companies we feel that it is actually also uh, sales in that process because it works much better than cold calling the companies like that. Uh, the conversion rates are totally different. So like we are more like spending our time on, on, on the product itself and on the marketing and on the business development and also have uh, we uh, cooperate with our external say designers so for like graphics etc. Uh, we work with other external external guys as well, so it is not like employment, uh, yeah, but uh, kind of a network of people that that work together, which is also a trend that we see in the in general market around web and web services, and more and more people don't want to work in in the big companies and are more on the freelance side. So so we are using these kind of services as well.